So once the purchase and sale contract is negotiated and executed, the next step that you really need to do is create this document, the critical critical dates timeline. And this pretty much ties into the contract, the uh, standard purchase and sale contract, and then communicate it to everyone on the um, notice section of the purchase and sale contract. So in every contract, especially the PSA, there's a notice section. Who gets noticed? Buyer, seller, buyer's counsel, seller's counsel, escrow agent, broker. There's a laundry list of people who are um, who deserve to get notice on the contract, okay? Communicate this document to everyone. Ask them in your email, if you see any issues with any of these dates, please speak up and we can modify this. Uh, but they, you know, every time I've done it, nobody's come back and said it was wrong. But uh, make sure your math is correct when you're figuring out the dates. Underst make sure you understand the difference between calendar days and business days, all that type of stuff. Uh, typically, the rule of thumb is anything less than seven days, like you will receive notice in five days. Five days are five business days. I mean, this unless it's written otherwise, it's kind of understood that anything less than seven days is will be regarded as business days. Anything seven days or more are considered calendar days. So keep that in mind, but make sure it's written that way in the contract because it could be different. Um, but once you once you go through the document, you're able to label all the dates, uh, get it out to everyone. Now remember, not all dates are going to be uh, able to be determined. Uh, as you can see here, we put in DTC plus 10. That's the uh, d uh, delivery of title commitment plus 10 days. Delivery of title commitment plus 15 days. So at some point in the future, you're going to update this uh, critical dates timeline and put fill in all these blanks so you have an actual date certain. Okay. Now, one of the things uh, that I really want to stress here is we had a particular issue on a call today uh, where the, the issue was the, the delivery of the boom right here. Deadline for delivery of title commitment. Okay. Now, the thing about this is, and this was where the disagreement rose, it is not your responsibility as the buyer under most purchase and sale contract, it is not your responsibility to deliver the title commitment. It is the seller's responsibility. All right, now, let me explain you how this works. Before a person even sells the property, they should engage a title insurance company so that they can start putting together the title commitment. Because this part of the equation is always going or should always be paid for by the seller. So he gets all of this stuff taken care of ahead of time. So as soon as you get it under contract and the title company is notified, they can send you the title abstract. They can send you the title commitment letter, all right? The title commitment letter gives you reason to pause. And this is all about the legal due diligence. This is where you can take a step back and say, wait a minute. If I don't fix these problems on the title commitment letter, I might have trouble selling this property in the future with clean, clear, and marketable title. So this is nothing to mess around with. If the seller has not sent this to you, there's a problem. You can't go forward with this transaction. I, mean, I can tell you right now, the... Um, uh, federal government just tried to pass a law that kind of did away with or 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 um, uh, you know put it on a fast track the title commitment insurance on all transactions and it was like it, it died in committee it was never going to pass because people need this this is a very smart thing to purchase uh, you know when you're buying a property title insurance so the problem was that this seller had never sent over the title commitment letter. Because when he sends that over, 
another clock starts ticking. Once you receive that document, you have a certain period of time to review it and send it to your attorney. And as you can see here, you get 10 days to do that. So you can't just sit around and, and, and rest on your laurels. You've got to get out there and make sure this, this thing gets taken care of. 